started with a big bang. Hey guys, welcome to Pilots of Perry. I'm Perry Koenig, and I know it's been a little bit since I made my last episode, but the good news is you're currently watching it right now. Unfortunately, because of time constraints and time catching up to me in life, I have to now make only one episode a week, which will be coming to you on Tuesdays. So the first show I'm going to talk about is, go is the new Stars original, Ash vs. Evil Dead, who stars Bruce Campbell. You'll recognize Bruce from not only the movie from, give or take, 30 years ago, but you'll also recognize him from Burn Notice. Bruce is hysterical and does a fantastic job as Ash for, you know, the TV show Ash vs. Evil Dead. I haven't seen the original movie, but I, I mean, obviously he's the original character, but they do do a little bit of a flashback for those of you that have not seen it, like me, for example. The cinematography is surprisingly pretty good. The acting is pretty good as well. And obviously it's going to be cheesy because, as we know, Evil Dead is sort of on that cheesy level. It's ridiculous, it's funny, and overall, I loved it. Something about it, I was drawn to it, and it was, it was good. It was very funny, and I'm going to keep on watching that. If, if you are into weird comedy and, like, gruesome blood and everything like that, I think you should have... No doubt in your mind that you will like this. You will like this show, period. So I recommend it to those of you that want a good laugh, that do want a good laugh, and like some blood. On to the next one, Into the Badlands on AMC. Not bad, pretty good, little interesting, but also a little weird. Not as weird as Ash vs. Evil Dead, but sort of like weird as in the, you know, the retrospect of, it's sort of like watching The Matrix without guns. Uh, you know, defying gravity, weird things, and, and like, weird government type of stuff. I don't know. But I, I kind of liked it. The cinematography is out of this world, though. The colors stand out. It's bright and beautiful. And then there are parts where it's dark because it's, it's, it's sort of like it sets the theme and it's, it sets the mood. And it's so, it's powerful. And not only, you know, is the show, in the characters, powerful, but the show itself is powerful. So you gotta watch it to understand what I'm talking about. So do I recommend it? If you like action, I say go for it. If you're not really into the sort of slow-paced type of plot, though, eh, it's sort of... You can watch it, but it's a little slow at the beginning. It, it takes a little bit of time to sort of get it moving. And last but not least, Superstore that airs on NBC. Superstore is a comedy that I, in my own opinion, sort of resembles that of Walmart. It's very funny. I watched the, the pilot of it. Um, wasn't 100% invested into it because I was with a couple of people, but it wasn't bad. I mean, it definitely had some good comedic stuff, and it sort of like brings you behind the scenes of like the chaos that goes on beyond you know, our eyes of, of that, of a store like Walmart. Now, granted, it can be completely fake, and what I'm saying, what happens behind the scenes at Walmart is not like Superstore at all. But in the long run, I mean, it was pretty funny, and I would probably watch it again later after some of my shows end. But overall, it was funny. Do I recommend it? If you want another comedy type of thing, sure, go for it. The cinematography, I can't really say much about it because it's a comedy, you know, comedies have good cinematography and at the same time it's like, okay, there's a camera, good, you, you shot the right people, perfect. Like, that's sort of like what it was. Overall, if you want to check it out, go for it. Comment on down below what you thought about any of the three TV shows we talked about today, Ash vs. the Evil Dead, Into the Badlands, and Superstore. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to click subscribe for new episodes every week on Tuesdays. You know what to do. Keep it here, and I'll see you next time.